This is a picture of my drawing of a sea turtle that I'm going to trace onto Yupo paper. I will mask the turtle with contact paper and then paint the background with alcohol ink. If I try to print on the contact paper, the ink will smear. I flipped the turtle's image horizontally on my computer and printed the image on the contact paper's backing. This way, when I cut the shape out and adhere it to the Yupo paper, it will face the same direction as my drawing. I cut the shape out with scissors, and here I'm showing how it looks before I adhere it to the Yupo paper. I outlined a 5 inch by 7 inch area on the Yupo paper to show the planned finish size. The actual size of the sheet is 6 by 8 inches. I cut the Yupo paper larger than needed so I can use a mat when I'm finished. I will now remove the bagging off the contact paper and adhere it to the Yupo paper. I will burnish the contact paper with a bone folder to make sure I get all the air out from behind the contact paper. Now a person can use a credit card or any similar tool just to make sure the edges are here and that way you'll have less bleeding when you go to paint with the alcohol ink. This is what it would look like with a mat, which I will show again when the drawing is finished. The alcohol ink I'll be using for my background is the Granger brand and the color is Stream. Now you can use the brand of your choice and the color of your choice that uh, is really not real important. I have diluted some of that alcohol ink with alcohol. With alcohol. The alcohol I use is 91%. I'm also going to apply it with a brush. And uh, it's pretty important to make sure that the alcohol ink looks streaked on the Yupo paper. Now, it looks like I have diluted my ink too much. So I will apply a couple of drops of ink right onto the bristles on the brush. And again, like I say, you try to get it to look streaked. And I believe it's best to use uh, an up and down stroke because I will outline the edges of those strokes with a pen. Now we'll let the alcohol ink dry 
before removing the contact paper. My alcohol ink has dried, so I will now remove the contact paper. Now I'm going to be tracing I'm going to be tracing my drawing on to the con uh, to the Yupo paper and I will be using this tracing light board <clears throat> I believe I bought this one at Walmart for $21 but you can find them on the internet from between fifteen and twenty dollars. I'll have to turn my lights off so I can see when I'm tracing. I will be using a Altafine point sharpie pen to do the tracing. I will continue tracing while I'm off camera, then I'll show the finished drawing. I have now finished my tracing. This is the pen I used. It's a sharpie with an extra fine point. I will now outline the edges of the streaks left by the alcohol ink. I will finish doing this off camera and then show how it looks when I've completed it. My turtle drawing is now finished. The reason I outline the edges of the alcohol ink is to make it look there's like a little bit of motion in the water that the turtle is swimming in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.